Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. I have used Card Conduit multiple times already. I always use them to get the best value for my extra cards. I get fair prices for my cards and they save me tons of time. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They give you the best price for your cards. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. Card Conduit also optimizes buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of the card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Drake, Pounding Elves. This deck's goal is to play a bunch of tiny elves and eventually cast huge creatures to win through combat. Drake's opening hand contains a glimpse of nature, Wirewood Symbiote, Nettle Sentinel, Heritage Druid, Windswept Teeth, Bayou, and his London Mulligan is a Grist the Hunger Tide. After that, we have a Shawnee, Pounding Teamer Cascade. This deck, similar to the popular modern version, aims to cascade into crashing footfalls, create rhinos, and tempo out the opponent to win. Ashani's opening hand contains a Tropical Island, Elvish Spirit Guide, Misty Rainforest, Force of Negation, and his three unfortunate London Mulligans are Simeon Spirit Guide, Force of Will, and a Snow-Covered Forest. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified of when we publish more content. Also, check us out on Twitter, find us on Facebook, and watch our dank memes and hot takes on TikTok. Without further ado, let's kick off this joyous, jolly, jovial junket. Drake gave the best pitch for a PWP musical and gets to start us off. Drake plays a Bayou for turn. He casts a Nettle Sentinel. He gives the turn to Ashani. Ashani draws and plays a Misty Rainforest. He passes. Drake draws and moves to combat, attacking Ashani with his Nettle Sentinel. Ashani takes the hit, and in his second main phase, Drake plays a Windswept Teeth. He casts Allosaurus Shepherd. Nettle Sentinel triggers and untaps. Drake ends his turn. Ashani draws and plays a Wooded Foothills. He ships the turn to Drake. At the end of Ashani's turn, Drake cracks his Windswept Teeth, pays a life, and fetches up a Dryad Arbor onto the battlefield. Drake draws and casts Heritage Druid. He taps three L's through Heritage Druid and adds three green. He casts Glimpse of Nature. Nettle Sentinel triggers and untaps. He casts Wirewood Symbiote. Glimpse of Nature triggers and Drake draws. He casts Quarian Ranger. Glimpse triggers and Drake draws again. He activates his Quarian Ranger, returning Bayou to his hand and untapping Heritage Druid. He taps three L's through Heritage Druid to add three green. He casts Wirewood Symbiote. Glimpse triggers, Drake draws, and Nettle Sentinel untaps. He casts another Heritage Druid and draws from Glimpse. He activates Wirewood Symbiote, returning Quarian Ranger to his hand and untapping Heritage Druid. He taps three elves through Heritage Druid to add three green. He casts Quarian Ranger, drawing and untapping Nettle Sentinel. He activates Wirewood Symbiote, returning Heritage Druid to his hand and untapping his other Heritage Druid. He taps three elves through Heritage Druid and adds three green. He casts Heritage Druid, drawing and untapping Nettle Sentinel. He plays a Gaia's Cradle as his land for turn. He activates Quarian Ranger, returning Dryad Arbor to his hand and untaps his Allosaurus Shepherd. He casts Natural Order, sacrificing Wirewood Symbiote as an additional cost. He fetches up a Crater Hoof Behemoth onto the battlefield. It enters and Drake's creatures get plus seven plus seven and trample until the end of turn. He activates Allosaurus Shepherd, turning all of his elves into five fives. He moves to combat, attacks Ashani for lethal, and Drake wins the game. Holy smokes, a turn three win. Before game two, Drake moves to sideboard. He brings in three Thoughtseize for disruption and one Progenitus because it is very hard to interact with. He takes out a Crater Hoof Behemoth, one Korean Ranger, and two Once Upon a Time. Ashani also moves to sideboard. He brings in two Fire and Ice and one Rough and Tumble for creature removal, one Hull Breacher for interaction, two Inevitable Betrayal to steal Drake's win cons, and one Blood Moon to shut down Gaia's Cradle. He takes out four Force of Will and four Force of Negation because of Allosaurus Shepherd. In this game, Ashani's opening hand contains two Brazen Borrower, two Elvish Spirit Guide, Misty Rainforest, Shardless Agent, and his London Mulligan is an Elvish Spirit Guide. 
In this game, Drake's opening hand contains a Dryad Arbor, Wirewood Symbiote, Forest, Guy's Cradle, Glimpse of Nature, Thoughtseize, and his London Mulligan is a Dryad Arbor. And Ashani gets to start us off. Ashani plays a Misty Rainforest for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Tropical Island onto the battlefield. He exiles two Elvish Spirit Guides from his hand, adding two green. He casts Shardless Agent. Cascade triggers, and he exiles non-land cards from the top of his library until he exiles Crashing Footfalls. He casts it, creating two 4-4 Rhinos with Trample. He gives the turn to Drake. Drake draws and plays a Forest. He casts Heritage Druid. He ships the turn to Ashani. Ashani draws and moves to combat, attacking Drake with everything. Drake takes it, and Ashani passes. Drake draws and plays a Dryad Arbor. He casts Wirewood Symbiote. He passes. Ashani draws and plays a Wooded Foothills. He moves to combat and attacks Drake with everything. Drake blocks Shardless Agent with Heritage Druid, and before damage, he activates Wirewood Symbiote, returning Heritage Druid to his hand, untapping his Dryad Arbor. Drake takes the rest, and in his second main phase, Ashani cracks his Wooded Foothills, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. Ashani ends his turn. Drake draws and casts Glimpse of Nature. He casts Heritage Druid and draws from Glimpse. He activates Wirewood Symbiote, returning Heritage Druid to hand and untapping Dryad Arbor. He casts Heritage Druid again and draws a card. He plays a Guy's Cradle, tapping it to add three green. He casts another Glimpse of Nature. He casts Wirewood Symbiote, drawing two more from the Glimpses. He activates Wirewood Symbiote, returning Heritage Druid to his hand and untapping Dryad Arbor. He casts Heritage Druid and draws two more cards. Drake then realizes that he is doomed to die by Rhinos, concedes, and Ashani wins the game. In this game, Drake's opening hand contains a Glimpse of Nature, two Wirewood Symbiote, Birch Lore Rangers, Quirion Ranger, Heritage Druid, and a Wooded Foothills. Ashani's opening hand contains a Tropical Island, Snow-Covered Forest, Fire and Ice, Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath, Endurance, Violent Outburst, and a Misty Rainforest. And Drake gets to start us off. Drake plays a Wooded Foothills for turn. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a forest onto the battlefield. He casts Quirion Ranger. He gives the turn to Ashani. Ashani draws and plays a Misty Rainforest. He passes. Drake draws and casts Birch Lore Rangers. He taps two elves through Birch Lore and adds a black. He casts Thoughtseize. Ashani reveals his hand, discards Fire and Ice, and Drake loses two life. He activates Quirion Ranger, returning a forest to his hand to untap Quirion Ranger. He plays a forest for turn. He casts Wirewood Symbiote. He moves to combat and attacks Ashani with Quirion Ranger. Ashani takes it, and Drake ends the turn. At the end of Drake's turn, Ashani cracks his Misty Rainforest, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. Ashani draws and plays a Tropical Island. He ships the turn to Drake. Drake draws and casts Glimpse of Nature. He taps two elves through Birch Lore Rangers and adds a green. He casts another Glimpse of Nature. He activates Quirion Ranger, returning a forest to his hand to untap Birch Lore Rangers. He plays a forest for turn. He casts Heritage Druid and draws two from Glimpse of Nature. He taps two elves through Birch Lore Rangers and adds a green. He casts another Heritage Druid and draws two more. He activates Wirewood Symbiote, returning Heritage Druid to untap his Birch Lore Rangers. He taps two elves through Birch Lore Rangers and adds a green. He casts Heritage Druid and draws two cards. He moves to combat and attacks Ashani with his Wirewood Symbiote. Ashani takes the hit, and Drake passes the turn. Ashani draws and plays a snow-covered forest. He gives the turn to Drake. During Drake's draw step, Ashani casts fire, targeting the two Heritage Druids. In response, Drake taps three elves through Heritage Druid and adds three green. He activates Wirewood Symbiote, returning the Heritage Druid to his hand to untap Birch Lore Rangers. Fire then resolves, killing Heritage Druid. In his main phase, Drake recasts Heritage Druid. He taps three elves through Druid and adds three green. He casts Wirewood Symbiote. He activates it, returning Druid to his hand, and untaps Birch Lore Rangers. He recasts Druid. He plays a Bayou as his land for turn. He casts Thoughtseize. Ashani reveals his hand, discards Violent Outburst, and Drake loses two life. Drake moves to combat and attacks Ashani with Birch Lore Rangers. Ashani takes the hit, and Drake ends his turn. Ashani draws and plays a Tropical Island. He casts Shardless Agent. Cascade triggers, and he exiles from the top until he exiles in an inevitable betrayal. He casts it, and then searches Drake's library for a Crater Hoof Behemoth, putting it onto the battlefield. It enters and gives itself plus one plus one and trample. Ashani moves to combat and attacks Drake with Crater Hoof. Drake takes the hit and Ashani passes. Drake draws and taps three elves through Heritage Druid to add three green. He plays a Guy's Cradle for turn. He taps it for five green. He activates Quirion Ranger, returning a forest to his hand to untap the Rangers. He activates Wirewood Symbiote, returning Quirion Ranger to his hand to untap Heritage Druid. He taps two elves through Birch Lore Rangers and adds a green. He casts Green Sun Zenith, where X equals ten. He fetches up a Progenitist onto the battlefield, shuffling Green Suns back into his library. He gives the turn to Ashani. Ashani draws and plays a Prismatic Vista. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Snow-Covered Island onto the battlefield. He casts Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. It enters, Ashani draws a card, gains three life, and puts Snow-Covered Forest onto the battlefield. Then Uro sacrifices itself. Ashani exiles Elvish Spirit Guide from his hand and adds a green. He escapes Uro. It enters, Ashani draws, gains three life, and then he declines to put a land onto the battlefield. He moves to combat and attacks Drake with his Shardless Agent and Crater Hoof. Drake blocks Crater Hoof with his Progenitus, Crater Hoof dies, and Drake takes the rest. Ashani ends his turn. 
Drake draws and plays a forest. He casts Quirion Ranger. He taps three elves through Druid and adds three green. He casts Elvish Visionary. It enters and Drake draws. He activates Symbiote, returning Druid to his hand and untaps Birchlore Rangers. He casts Heritage Druid again. He taps his three elves through Druid and adds three green. He casts Wirewood Symbiote. He taps his guy's cradle, adding eight green. He activates Wirewood Symbiote, returning Elvish Visionary to his hand and untaps Birchlore Rangers. He casts Elvish Visionary. It enters and Drake draws. He taps two elves through Birchlore Rangers and adds a green. He activates Wirewood Symbiote, returning Elvish Visionary and untaps Birchlore Rangers. He recasts Elvish Visionary. It enters and Drake draws. He casts Green Sun Zenith where X equals one. He fetches up an Allosaur Shepherd onto the battlefield, shuffling Green Suns into his library. He casts Grist the Hunger Tide. He activates Grist's second ability, sacrificing Wirewood Symbiote and destroying Uro. He moves to combat and attacks Ashani with Progenitus and the Birchlore Rangers. Ashani takes the hit and Drake ships the turn. Ashani draws and decides to make his turn a lot more simple by passing right back to Drake. Drake draws and activates Grist's first ability, milling a card and creating a 1 1 insect. He taps his cradle for 9 green and activates his Allosaurus Shepherd, making all of his elves into 5 fives. He moves to combat and attacks Ashani with all of his creatures. Ashani gets stampeded by elves and a giant Hydra avatar dies and Drake wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a great match. Congrats to Drake on his win. Ashani put up a valiant fight with a constant threat of rhinos and creature theft, but Drake found the right cards to have his elves combo off each other for the victory. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Glimpse of Nature. While it was the elves that allowed Drake to have plenty of mana, Glimpse of Nature ensured that Drake was able to snowball into massive card draw, outpacing Ashani's game plan. Well that about wraps it up for this Legacy match. What deck would you like to see next? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.